Hey, it's Kim and I have a very, very, very special video today. I am proud to announce that I will be unboxing my first custom VDS planner. My first custom planner from Vanderspeck. And I know I mentioned before that I am terrible at doing unboxing videos because I am just not necessarily that patient to be able to hold onto a box until I set up a camera. But as luck would have it, I already had my camera set up when I received this box. So it was fate and <laughs> I was able to actually film the unboxing for you, which happened about a week ago. So now we are present day, a week later and I've set it up put things in it the way I generally want it and I'm gonna run through all of the specs and show you all the pictures and give you all the details anything you need if you too are in the market for getting a custom planner from Vanderspeck if that sounds good to you keep watching okay the day has finally arrived I just received my custom Vanderspeck um, planner cover in the mail it has been almost 10 weeks I ordered it at the time where their turnaround time was still eight weeks so it's been about what did i say i think it's been like nine and a half weeks actually so here we are and needless to say um the anticipation is killing me but i wanted to pull out the camera to film this for you guys as an official unboxing i didn't even have time to like clear off my desk and make anything pretty because i couldn't wait that long so here we go And we got, hi, I am your new VDS planner. What a cute card from Vandra Speck. Like I said, I purchased this about, the time is a little iffy. So it was actually over the New Year holiday. So they were technically still closed or on vacation, but I still was able to put my order in with Petra and we did the invoice online and everything at that time but then the shop didn't actually open until about a week after that and i will say that we went back and forth on the specs for this for about two weeks prior to me placing the final order so a long time coming so as you can see already it's the Stardust Croco Matte. I'm like almost nervous to touch it. I just put lotion on my hands and then try to rub them off or rub it off seriously so that I don't get any oil stains or spots on my new planner. Oh, it feels really like velvety. I guess that's just to protect it. It feels really velvety and sweet like so cool so to give you some specs on what i did order this is the a5 manager without rings as you can see so i ordered it um, to accommodate my half letter disc bound planner but also with the idea that i could maybe use it for rings if i so choose um, and we went back and forth with whether or not I should go with the A5 manager and a ringless version or if I should go with the A5 codex and just heighten it and widen it a bit more. And actually after all of the specs and the additions that I wanted to make, it turned out to be less expensive to go with the ringless A5 manager and I'm really glad I did. And a nice feature that I do like about the A5 manager is that it already comes with two pen loops. That was actually going to be one of the customizations, customizations that I was going to make to the codex. So this seems to work just fine. And it absolutely feels huge. But not too thick, which is really what I was going for. So now that she's here, I am excited. She is absolutely stunning. I love it. So after I get her all set up and everything fills out the way that I want to do it I will come back of course and show you guys the entire setup of my new custom VDS planner cover all right so here she is this is my Vanderspeck custom planner and I'll just take you from the top on all of the specs this is an a5 manager which is typically the ring bound 
uh, planner cover or planner but I decided to actually go with the ringless because I use mine as I use mine for my disc bound planner so I don't need the rings so it was either between this one which is an A5 manager or the A5 codex either way I would have had to customize the dimensions so that it would fit a half letter disc bound planner better because half letter pages are taller yet narrower than A5 size pages so that's what I did so I emailed back and forth with Petra and she is the customer service person that most of us will interact with all the time I think all of us interact with Petra if you're ordering a custom planner from Vanderspeck but we went back and forth over probably a two-week period and she was so nice and very patient gave me all of my options in terms of pricing because every customization you make will change the base price of the planner so definitely keep that in mind and like I said this is the a5 manager but without the rings and I'll tell you all of the general specs let me go grab my invoice though to make sure I get it right all right so according to my invoice this is the manager a5 25 millimeter with no rings there is a manager that is 35 millimeters and I actually wondered about this after the fact because I assumed that the 35 millimeter manager would be wider to accommodate thicker rings than the 25 millimeter so I don't know if I should have started there because I did end up getting this widened originally we thought I wouldn't need to get it widened but I did get it widened but at the end of the video I'll go through and explain things I would do differently if I were to do this again or things that I would suggest to you if you're interested in getting a planner cover for your half letter disc bound okay the outside leather is stardust velvet matte croco the inside leather is also stardust velvet matte croco and the stitching matches the um, stardust on the outside and the inside also an important thing to note I did opt to get stiffener they have two options for stiffener there's Bontex and then there's board I opted for the board because I wanted something firmer because this is a very 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 large planner so I didn't want it to be floppy and loose and all over the place in other sizes I may entertain you know doing no stiffener or just the bond text but in this case I went with the board stiffener and I also asked for minimal foam I didn't want a really puffy planner um, though I do like squishiness as it's called I didn't really want it to be puffy and I didn't know exactly what to expect because this is my first custom from VDS so I wasn't sure how much foam they would normally put into it so I did ask for minimal foam just to be on the safe side I didn't want to go with no foam but I just wasn't sure I knew I didn't want it to be too puffy so I asked for minimal foam so let's open her up all right trying to move you into frame so as you can see some another customization that I did make on the left hand side I got the Steve layout and that consists of three vertical pockets and two horizontal pockets as well as two full height slip pockets I also asked for the black tag instead of the brown because I knew that I would want all of the elements in here to be black and white and whatever else <laughs> so I knew I wanted the black tag instead of the brown tag so those small details are definitely things to consider and to keep in mind when you're customizing your planner and the a5 manager normally comes with a different layout on the left hand side so I did have to pay to have this switched over and then I'll show you what the right side is the right side of the a5 manager is um, I left it the same and it comes with a full height pocket which is actually like a gusseted zip pocket here and currently I only have I think what do I have? just some stamps in here now I was on the fence about this zip pocket because I honestly didn't think I really needed it I'm still not sure <laughs> if I would include it you know going forward in the future if I were to do this again also this gusseted section kind of bothers me because it stays lifted up I don't know if you can see that but it's just a tiny tiny pet peeve but as you can see and I'll take all of this stuff out and then I'll explain to you what the stuff is that I have in here and what I plan to use it for um, 
but as you can see it lays completely flat which is an absolute plus or bonus if you know about you know trying to use a planner on your lap or on a surface to have it open up flat is very convenient so let me explain how I'm using this I do have a video that I posted a few months back regarding my planner system there was a haul and a setup of this main piece promptly after that I decided to switch my daily planning to the Wonderland 222 and I do have a video on that I'll link both of those videos up in the cards and down below for you so you can check those out but shortly after that I decided to switch my scheduling and my daily planning into the Wonderland 222 so that meant that I made this one my companion planner as I call it so I still have every all of the other sections that I had in that video still have them in this planner but I just took out the schedule section because I'm not using it in that way um, also from that video I just changed the dashboard so there are a few things that did get changed and flipped around in here I may or may not update or do an update video on what's going on in here I'm not entirely sure yet but currently what I have in here is also a Hobonichi uh, cousin it's a Hobonichi cousin I just have this plastic cover on it with a printout from UNI graphics I think I printed it out just goes better with the overall look so I slipped that in there and this is an April start Hobonichi cousin so I haven't even started using it yet I'm not 1000% sure I know what I'm going to even use it for but we won't talk about that the point of me showing you all of this is my intended setup for this planner cover so when I ordered it I intended for it to be a workhorse of sorts it would house everything I needed for my planning mainly my disbound half letter and the point of me um, adjusting the width and the height was so that I could fit large rings in here should I need to currently these rings are 1.25 inches um, and that's pretty standard I have in the past used my disc bound with like 1.75 inch discs and this cover can actually accommodate that size which is important for me if I ever decide maybe to bring my scheduling and daily planning back into this that would be helpful but also what I appreciate is that I could put two planners into this one book and this is how everything has been living in here for a while and I'll kind of show you that so my thought process was if I decide to stay in a bound book but I want to maybe do in A5 size I could use that in conjunction with this and they both could live happily ever after in the same planner cover and I apologize if I, if I keep um, hitting the tripod so they both could live in here happily ever after I however do not like the way this feels <laughs> when I open it up to have this on that side and this on the other side I've also tried to do it the other way actually let me turn this around and the only reason why I'm doing that is because the paper that I have covering this doesn't cover the whole side so I just want it to look pretty either way <laughs> so I could open this up like this and use it this way if I had this flipped you know right side up of course and then I would have no problem opening this and writing on both sides and using it as I intend my only concern with doing it this way is I won't always be able to see this beautiful side over here <laughs> this beautiful Steve layout that I absolutely love for some reason and I don't know why the Steve layout just does it for me I don't normally put a lot of things in my pockets and everything so the original manager layout would have been useless for me because it comes with a lot of different card slots and I wouldn't have needed them for any purpose at all um, and I just like the layout of this Steve layout and I will likely be putting uh, task cards in here but maybe not task cards how would I explain it so I intend to create cards that outline different planning routines or different daily routines so if I'm having an administrative day and that might be computer work and emails and things like that maybe there's a workflow I want for that if I'm having a day where I'm going to focus and devote to filming YouTube videos there may be a workflow I want for that so on and so forth so that's what I intend to use this area for this is a little passport size notebook from cloth and paper it came in a sub box a while back and I do actually put some notes in it every now and then so that does come in handy so that's what that is this is a card from Poi and Hun that's an Ollie clip 
Ollie Clip and the Snow Leopard print. Um, this is a Kokuyo pen that I got from Cloth and Paper. And then this is just the little sticker that comes with the Midori notebooks. Yeah, the Midori Diary notebooks. Because I originally had one of those in here instead of the cousin. So then if I close this over, everything closes comfortably. Again, I apologize if I'm knocking the tripod. This is a new setup for me. But everything closes comfortably. And as you can see, fits well. And like I said, this gusseted pocket kind of bothers me a little bit, but it's fine. And then that would be the bottom and the way that this all would fit in here. And I really do like the way it fits. Now, to talk about the customizations that I made. So like I mentioned, I did get this widened by one centimeter and I got it heightened by one centimeter. And I also got the strap lengthened by 10 millimeters, I believe. Now, I will say that I honestly don't feel that you would necessarily need to have this heightened. I think it could do just fine the regular height of the A5 manager and you still be able to slide your half letter in. The reason why I did get mine heightened is because I was taking the measurements of this cover that I'm using which is also from cloth and paper but even with that I feel like the difference between the cover I'll try to zoom in if I can but the difference between the cover and the height of the planner is about one centimeter <laughs> so it makes me feel like I would have been able to squeeze this in maybe using a different cover or even the same cover. I don't know, but I, I wouldn't have wanted it to be a tight fit. But I'm just letting you know, should you decide to do this, you may not need to heighten it as much if you intend to use it for a half letter disc bound planner. Also, the widening, I did widen it, like I said, by one centimeter as well. And I question whether or not I could have gone with the a5 manager and the 35 millimeter base model and maybe you know what the difference in price that would have been as opposed to paying to customize to widen this by one centimeter i don't know i didn't look into it but i did widen it and like i explained this is 1.25 inches i honestly feel like i could go up to probably like a two inch disc in this if i wanted to and the strap is long enough to accommodate that so I don't know if you can tell, but there's a lot of room in here that I would have to go much thicker on the planner that I keep in here. And like I said, the strap was lengthened and I honestly don't feel like that was necessary. I really don't. I think if I had left the strap the same and maybe added a double popper, just in case it did get a little, you know, stuffed, that would have been just fine. Even if I do go up to a much larger uh, ring size in this. So, those are the details. Um, if there's anything I forgot to add, please don't hesitate to let me know. Oh, there's one more thing. Okay, so my thought process with this was also, if I ever decided to go up to, or switch over to A5 rings, I could do that as well by using an insert similar to this one. This is the vinyl A5 planner from cloth and paper but I'm sure you can find something similar to this on Amazon eBay or wherever or there are the inserts that don't have the cover and it just has the rings and a back plate to kind of squeeze into there but if I decided to even switch this whole system over to a5 rings I could do that comfortably because it would fit in there nice and snug so I do like the versatility of getting this layout, getting the A5 manager without the rings. I think it will work extremely well for me and I'm excited to use it. Now while I'm putting all of this back together, I will say that um, I guess my first impressions of this leather, it's very, it almost has a suede feel. Like you can, you can definitely feel the texture or the nap on the leather. Um, but it doesn't feel super fuzzy. It doesn't feel super fuzzy. It's kind of like an odd feeling. It feels like velvet. <laughs> it honestly really does feel like velvet, but not such a fluffy kind of velvet. I have not been babying this, but it does not leave my house. It doesn't even leave my bedroom. So, you know, there's no need for, 
me to like protect it or baby it or anything and that's also why I was comfortable getting this color it doesn't seem to pick up you know any oils or anything from my hands I mean I don't touch it when my hands are dirty but it doesn't seem to pick up anything like that so if you are a person who's concerned about getting this dirty or how it will wear I kind of think it depends on what you intend to do with it. I don't know if I would throw this in my bag all the time. I do know that there are other videos and reviews out there, especially on the Facebook group, talking about this leather as an option. So you can definitely search there to find out more information about how it wears and what you can expect for the leather's performance over time. I do want to compare it to the Gilio matte leather. This is the charcoal matte Apunto. Is that what it's called? I'll put it on the screen if that's not the name, but it's Charcoal Matte Apunto from um, Gilio, and this is in the B6 size, and this is what I'm keeping my Wonderland in at the moment. Um, like I said, I have a video on this. I didn't go, I didn't have this cover at the time. I had a Moterm cover, but this is the Gilio, and this is also a matte leather, similar to this one by VDS. I will say, though, the VDS feels more, I don't know how to explain it. It feels, like I said, more like velvet, whereas the Giglio feels smoother. Almost, almost like you're comparing like a vinyl to a velvet. That's kind of how it feels. Both are definitely leather. Like you can smell it and you can feel that it's leather, but the, the, the tactile feel of both of them are different. So if you're familiar with this one, that may give you a better gauge of what this one feels like and vice versa. Okay, I think that covers everything that I wanted to talk about with regards to this beautiful custom planner cover that I got from Vanderspeck. Based on this one that I have and others that I've seen, like I said, on Facebook groups and other places, I would highly recommend them. If you are serious about your planners and if you like to have nice things, you know, if you like to have nice custom covers and I guess the draw is it's custom. You build it to your specifications. If you're willing to wait a little while to have it shipped to you, then, you know, this is a great option for you. When I purchased mine, the wait was eight weeks. I believe it's currently 10 weeks. I'm hoping that that goes down because I honestly would likely purchase another custom planner from Vanderspeck. It wouldn't be a replacement for this. It would probably be something completely different, but I would. Maybe for like a Hobonichi Weeks or for a Traveler's Notebook. That's actually the next one I have my eye on, a Traveler's Notebook cover. But that is the VDS Ringless manager a5 that i'm using for my half letter disbound system and i do absolutely love it and i highly recommend it Whew, that was a lot i feel like i covered a lot but maybe i didn't say everything i needed to say i don't know if there's anything missing let me know also i wanted to add that i will have a video coming up of my current planner lineup and possibly some planner flips of those that are included in my lineup um, planner flips <laughs> sometimes take forever. Maybe I just talk a lot. I don't really, I don't know. But they seem to take forever and they're really long videos. So I kind of shy away from doing them. If anyone's interested, let me know. Or maybe I'll just show them on my Instagram page. We'll see. Thank you so much for watching my Vanderspeck planner unboxing video. If you have any questions or if there are some details that I may have left out or forgotten, please feel free to leave me a comment down below and I'll get right back to you. Again, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.